Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this bandana from Dollar Tree. One of these little shelf sitters. Four pieces of 12 inch wood and an 11 by 14 frameless canvas. I started by taking two of the 12 inch pieces of wood, taping them together, cutting them down to nine inches. Used my miter box and saw and then sanded the ends where they had been cut. I then held up the nine inch pieces on the 12 inch piece, just on the ends, and marked those off so I don't put paint on those so the wood glue sticks better. I then painted in between those marks on the 12 inch pieces. And then on the nine inch pieces, covered those completely, except for the very ends of them. Flipped them over and then the 12 inch pieces got painted fully on that side, as well as the ends. When they were completely dry, I used wood glue to put the pieces together. So the two 12 inch pieces are on the top and bottom. The nine inch pieces are on the sides. After I put the wood glue on, I used some masking tape to hold them together until they dry. And once that was all put together, I just set it aside to dry. And then I took this box from Dollar Tree, a little shelf sitter. It's about four by four and painted it with Snow White chalk paint by Waverly. And I just gave that one coat. After that was dry, I measured the inside. It was about three by three. And then I took this bandana from Dollar Tree and cut out part of a star from it and measured out the three by three and cut that out and applied Mod Podge to the inside of this little box. Placed down the fabric, smoothing it out with my hands. I then used my heating tool to dry that and then once that was dry, did an outer layer of Mod Podge and then use my heating tool to dry that layer as well. And then I took the box frame that I had made and put it on top of the 11 by 14 frameless canvas from Dollar Tree. I lined up the top and the side with the edge of the canvas and then just used my razor blade to score along the edge of it. I then used the razor blade again and went along those lines a bunch of times until I could break those sections off. I then applied a layer of Mod Podge. And then took this other bandana from Dollar Tree, placed it over so most of just the red and white stripes were showing on there and a little bit of the stars on the left. I'll be covering that part. So I just made sure that it was just mostly the stripes that were showing. Once I had it placed on there, I trimmed up the excess around the frameless canvas. I then used my heating tool to dry the Mod Podge and then did an outer layer of Mod Podge using my heating tool to dry it again. Once I had it completely dry, I trimmed up the excess bandana around the edge and then used this Distress Oxide pad and little stamp brush and gave it good distressing. And I do end up blending it in a little more so it's not as dark. I then did the same thing to the star section and the frame on that 
and the larger frame I had made earlier. Once that was all done, I took the frame and put hot glue all along the back of it and then placed it right down on to my canvas with the flag. After I had that placed on there, I put some hot glue on two sides of the little box with the stars and the left top corner and just placed that down. I then went in with a baby wipe and kind of just blended in the distressing that I did just to mute it a little bit because it was just a little too dark. I like a good rustic look, but it was just too much for me. So I blended it in and I did this on the entire thing. And that's it for this project. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching.